Hello there. Today we're going to make some lettuce wraps and we're going to use chicken, ground chicken. You can use pork, use ground beef, anything you want. Put a little bit of canola oil in to start with that heat. And what we're going to do is build layers. So the first thing we're going to do after the oil warms is to <coughs> sweat some ginger and some onions. So we have chopped onions. Now you like to hear that sound. We have our chopped ginger. We're going to sweat this for a little bit. It'll have to cook all the way down. I like to put onions in just about everything that I cook. It adds flavor, it adds a little sweetness, and if it gets cooked long enough, the onions just dissipate into whatever you happen to be cooking. This is what will happen today after they've sweat for a little while. Now garlic will go in here. We're going to put the garlic in a little bit later because garlic will burn very quickly. If you watch one of my YouTube videos on how to slice a, an onion, you can do it in under 30 seconds with no tears. So that's on my YouTube channel. So getting the onions and the ginger, a little brown, starting to brown a little bit on the onions. Heat down slightly. Now I'm going to put the garlic in. And because this is cooking secrets for men, you can chop a clove of garlic and then mince it. We use pre minced garlic. It doesn't taste exactly the same, but it serves the purpose. And in a cooking secrets for men recipe, we want things to be as easy as possible. The taste isn't that much different, especially in something that's going to be covered up with hoisin sauce and sriracha sauce, soy sauce, and the like. So it just gives a little extra flavor. All right, you see a little color there? So now we're going to put in our ground chicken. And as I said, you can use pork. You can use beef. I think chicken just absorbs the Asian flavors a lot better than the pork and the beef. Gives off a lot less uh, grease than beef does. And depending on how lean the pork is. But this will come together nicely. You want to get rid of all the pink. Same as when you're cooking regular chicken. No pink showing anywhere. I'm going to work this around. Try to get as, as nicely done as possible. It doesn't have to be all the way cooked through. Just no pink. This is a great, easy to make dish that could be a good weeknight dish. Doesn't take that long to put together. The hardest thing is chopping the onion, chopping the ginger. Other than that, it's throwing a bunch of stuff in the pot, stir it around, it's ready in about 15 minutes. All right, getting ready. To move on to our spices. So you can see pink is almost gone all over the place. That's very good. Alright. Very monochromatic right now. So one of the things we do put in, give it a little color and a little texture, is matchbook, matchstick carrots. Gives a little crunch, a little taste. They take a little time to cook. 
We'll stir those around. I've also put in um, diced zucchini. You can put in just about anything. Zucchini kind of works, gives a little moisture and a little a little flavor. Put a little salt and pepper. Always salt and pepper. A little fresh ground pepper. And you can see the juices starting to come out. Smells good and there's no spices in here yet. Alright. So I've got a little diced scallion put in there. Since it has onions in it, you don't have to put a whole lot in. But again, a little color, a little texture. Always good. And they cook very quickly. So the basis of the um, the dish is the Asian flavors. So you want to put in about a quarter of a cup of hoisin sauce. I don't really measure. I eyeball it. If you're baking, you want to measure. If you're cooking, you do it for taste. And this adds a little color to the, the chicken. You see it's turning brown. And soy sauce does the same thing. Adds a little salt and color. We put about two tablespoons of soy sauce in. Stir that around. All right, coming together nicely. Put about one teaspoon of sesame oil. kind of rich and flavorful and pungent, but a little goes a long way. Get about a tablespoon of rice wine vinegar, a little tart. And the main ingredient, sriracha sauce. A little kick, a little flavor, blends well with all these Asian flavors. So you got hoisin sauce, sriracha, soy sauce, rice wine vinegar, sesame oil, and we're going to throw it as we finish up. We're going to throw in a little cilantro. So we're basically ready. This is finished. It can cook down a little bit. It's nice to have a little bit of the, the juice so it's not dry. We have some cilantro leaves chopped. Gives a little flavor. And a little color. Alright, we're done. I'll we'll turn off the heat. And what makes them Asian lettuce wraps is we're going to put them in lettuce. So you take a spoonful, put it right in. And these are ready to serve, ready to eat. Very simple. Doesn't take that long. Tasty. There we go. So, hope you enjoyed that. As my grandfather used to say, mi piace mangiare quindi cucino, which means I like to eat, therefore I cook. See you next time.